Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be reviewing the Disney Plus Legacy sequel series to the original Turner and Hooch movie, which is also the name of the series, Turner and Hooch. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This is inspired by the character Curtis Montanar, played by Jonathan Simow, and the minor character of Anthony who appeared in the episode Witness Protection. While this series is a sequel to the 1989 movie that starred Tom Hanks as Scott Turner. His character passed away prior to the start of the series while investigating a case as the police chief of the town that the original movie took place in, which he got the job after the events of the movie. He leaves his dog, a French mastiff named Hooch, like the dog in the first film, but this Hooch was a rescue that Scott Sr. adopted to his son Scott Jr., a U.S. Marshal's deputy marshal played by Nickelodeon alumni Josh Peck. This series has a huge cast of characters including Erica, the sister of Curtis, and the dog trainer who Scott goes to advice when it comes to dealing with Hooch, played by Vanessa Langes. Power Rangers alumni Brandon J. McLaren, who plays a former U.S. Marine who served in Afghanistan, turned U.S. Marshal, and one of Scott's partners, named it Xavier, or X for short. Now, Curtis helps his sister Erica out with training police dogs for the U.S. Marshals in the series, and she's I mean, she introduced Scott to him and told him about him being autistic. Now, in episode 9, Witness protection displays a huge role in the episode as Scott, Hooch, and Erica have to help a non verbal, severely autistic boy named Anthony, who was the witness to an attempted killing of a witness by a hitman. Erica, Hooch, and Scott bond with with Anthony, who was almost killed by the hitman while drawing a pic of what the hitman looks like, which plays a role later in the episode in the capture of the hitman. Later at the end of the episode Erica brings Curtis to meet Anthony and then saying goodbye to Anthony to end the episode. My thoughts on the show. I love it and I like how Disney brought in autistic characters into the show. I can relate to both Anthony and Curtis as being on the spectrum and the fact they are very smart in their own way. Also the fact that Curtis doesn't let his autism stop him from working with his sister Erica when it comes to working with dogs that are being trained for law enforcement. I highly recommend watching Turner Hooch on Disney+. Plus. I will post the link to watch this series in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, most importantly, get vaccinated, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.